What's good? What's up? And what's happening, Blaze family? You are now tuning in to a Blaze Mind Science Center video with me, Madison Averhart. And today, guys, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff in this video, um, but not really. So I'm going to go over my objectives because y'all know I write everything down. So first things first is the introduction. Hello. And then we'll move into the ocular lenses, the objective lenses, then the total magnification, and then um, I'm going to go into how to properly view a specimen um, by looking through the microscope with both eyes because I previously had a, um, a person ask me like, how, how are you supposed to be looking at your microscope with both eyes rather than just like looking through with one? Because that's how I was doing it, which is absolutely not correct. And so we're going to go over that. And then after we're done with that, we're going to actually go into the um, ocular lenses because this microscope comes with two. It comes with the wild field 10x and then the wild field um, 25x. So we'll do that. And then <laughs> we're going to go into the appreciation of my subscribers because y'all don't know how much I appreciate you guys. Like, oh my goodness. So we're going to go into the appreciation and then after that will be the outro. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, guys, welcome back. So um, let's go over the ocular lenses and like what they are. So I have them right here. This is what it's kind of going to come in. I don't think it came like this, but this is how I have it set up now. So it comes with two. I'm just going to show you like one of each. So this is the wild field 25 X. If I can get it out. <laughs> so it'll look like this. It's a lot smaller than the um, 10 X. So that's how that looks. Can y'all see that? Yeah, y'all can see that. <laughs> and then this is the 10X right here. And usually most microscopes come with the 10X. Um, and this is it. Um, now DIN, when where you see D-I-N, it's basically just saying like, um, this is a manufacturer that can go with pretty much any other microscope that has DIN on it. So... If y'all see that, it'll probably work with another microscope. And then I'll show y'all the camera. So here's the camera. Um, and then you just plug it into your microscope as well. Those are the ocular lenses. Okay, so now we're going to go into the objective lenses. Okay, guys, so now we're looking at the objective lens. And right now, this is the 4X objective. And then you can spin it around. I kind of spin mine like this. And then you hear it click. And then this is the 10x objective. 40x. And then 100x, which is the oil magnification. So now we're going to go over the total magnification and how everything works. So with the wild fill 10x, um, it's basically the ocular lens is multiplied by the objective lens to give you the total magnification. So basically, if you have it on 4x, which is this one right here, it's going to be multiplied times that to give you 40x. And then it's the same thing going down. So 10x times 10x is 100x. 10x times 40x, 400. And then you'll see how that'll look when we put the slide on the microscope and then you'll see how that works. But same thing goes for the wild field 25 X lens. It's the same thing. 25 times four, that gives you a hundred 25 times 10 250. 25 times 40, a thousand 25 times hundred gives you um, 2,500. So basically that's how that works. It's just multiplied when you look at it at the microscope. So now, Let's actually look at some observations. Hey guys, before we look at anything, I really just wanted to show y'all how to look 
at your microscope with both of your eyes instead of just one. This is just for the people who don't know because I was one who didn't know. So I'm trying to share the knowledge that I have gained. So for the person who asked me a few months ago, I clearly didn't know. So now I know and I'm here to share. So let's go. I'm going to put the Caprinus mushroom on the microscope and we're going to take a look at that. Um, you always start with four. Make sure rolled all the way down. Put it on. Now let's spark this bad boy up. Okay. So we turn the light on. Turn it on. Turn it on. Now for me, I have mine set to 65. Like my my binoculars are set at 65 right here. And I can see I can see it with both my eyes. But if if you can't Make sure your right eye uh, it has it very precise. Like, you're looking at it, make sure it's precise in your right eye. And this thing right here, you want to adjust it to make sure your left eye can view it just as well. So once the right eye is set, there is... So you remember when I was saying I, I didn't know what this was for? It's to fine-tune that left eye. So that way you can view it with both eyes and not just that one. So you're not straining your eyes. Didn't know this, but it's just we're sharing. We're sharing information. We're sharing knowledge. So now I'm going to try to find it. So I'm going to use this to find what I'm looking for. All right. Now I'm going to let y'all see. So I have mine set at 65. I don't know if y'all can see that, but y'all see where like this little thing is? It's literally telling me, hey, that's at 65 and it's on 65, kind of, right? Yeah, that's on 65 right there. So it's kind of telling you where it lines up at. That's how mine is. And when I go in on the left side, it looks just as clear, if not better. So yeah, they look the same, or at least they should. So when you look at it with both eyes, it both looks clear. Okay guys, so that's exactly how you'll view your microscope. Make sure the ocular lenses are set. Um, make sure the binoculars are set to the perfect setting that is good for you. Make sure you adjust that left eye after you make sure that right eye is straight and precise. Um, but yeah, that's how you view it. Um, I really just wanted to shout out the girl that literally asked me the question. It took me months to figure it out, but I finally got it. And I really appreciate you for asking me that. But moving forward, let's go ahead and move into the uh, Wildfield 10X ocular lens. So with the 10X ocular lens, we're going to view the 4X, the 10X, the 40X, and then the 100X. So with, before we begin, I did want y'all to know that they are called different things. So if somebody says, look at the scanning lens, the scanning lens is the 4X. The low um, power is the 10X. The high power is the 40X. And then the oil magnification is um, 100X. So yeah, just in case y'all didn't know that, that's what they're called. So let's go ahead and move on into that. Hey guys, so I just wanted y'all to know that the total magnification is going to be shown in the bottom left-hand corner in the following pictures. So just letting you know, it's the total magnification, not the ocular lens or the objective lens. It's the total mag.
Okay, so now we'll be observing with the wide field 25X ocular lens. You can see like where it is, but it's extremely blurry. Like extremely. Hey guys, okay, so that's it. That We're done observing everything under the microscope. Um, so y'all saw the 10X ocular lens and then y'all saw the 25 times ocular lens. And personally, the 10, the 10 times um, ocular lens is a lot better than the 25, in my opinion, just because once you get to the oil magnification, you can't see anything, really. You just, you can't. Um, personally, also observing with the 25 times um, ocular lenses, it's a lot harder to actually observe. So, like, you know how I was going through the whole um, process of viewing it with your eyes? The process is still the same. However, with this, I felt like I had to press my face more into the ocular lenses to see with both of my eyes versus like you know just gently being up there you have to actually put your face up in it um to see um but other than that i think that i, I just like the 10 the 10 times ocular lens a lot better than the wide field 25 times ocular lens just a personal preference my i did it today and that's what i'm saying i'd go with the 10x but overall pretty dope that was pretty cool you saw the differences between the two and yeah let's go ahead and just jump right on into the appreciation Okay, so guys, this is all about my subscribers and my viewers. So first things first is thank you so much for asking questions. And the more you ask questions, the more I learn because I have to go and do my research. So I just wanted to say thank you for literally asking the question. So first things first, we want to acknowledge two um viewers or subscribers individually so first one is the the girl who asked the question about how to view you know with the microscope and that was abc microscopy shout out to you thank you for asking the question because now i know and then we have a second subscriber which is gaming with zeep if that's not how you say it forgive me but i think it's it's Z-E-A-P, so I'm just going to go with Zeep. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. But shout out to you guys because y'all asked the question, and your question was basically, um, you know, not, I, you, you didn't even have a question. You just wanted to see the lens magnification power differences. And shout out to you because I've never used the wide field 25 times ocular lens. This is my first time actually viewing it, so... Shout out to you for making me do this because if it wasn't for you, I probably wouldn't have done it for a while. So shout out to you. But overall, guys, again, please don't hesitate to ask questions. Please don't hesitate to 
be like, hey, can you figure this out for me? And guess what? I'm going to go do it for you because you asked. But, um, you know, just anything spontaneous. I'm willing to do it. <laughs> so, guys, literally, please don't hesitate to ask questions. Don't hesitate to whatever. You know, I'm here for it. But I love you guys. I just wanted to say thank y'all again so much for asking the questions. Um, yeah, man, I love y'all. And if y'all have anything else, please don't hesitate to comment in the comments below. If y'all like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the Blaze family, go ahead and click that red button down below and join the Blaze family. But seriously, guys, um, that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. Um, if y'all need me to make another video for you guys, hit me up. I'm going to do my research and then I'm going to get back to you. So no matter how long it takes, because, you know, we're all learning at our own pace. So yes, I love you guys. Peace. Shalom.